Hi, my name is Doug Brock, and I'm here giving the reflection for Thursday, February 23rd. Yes, we've made it to the second day of Lent. Good job, everyone. And we are also able to break our fast today, too. So I don't know about you, but uh, sometimes I can get a little cranky on those days of, of fasting on Ash Wednesday. So uh, here we go. Hope you had a nice breakfast. Well, off we go. There's some challenging readings uh, again in this today. And the gospel is from Luke chapter nine. Jesus said to his disciples, the son of man must suffer greatly to be rejected by the elders, the chief priests and the scribes and be killed and on the third day be raised. I don't know about you, but if I was one of the disciples in the room, there would be a lot of head scratching from me wondering just what Jesus was talking about here. Um, and he's talked also, follows on after that of follow me, you must take up your cross. The one thing that kind of struck out to me uh, in my mind, I'm going through the catechism in a year by Father Mike Schmitz, small plug, by the way, uh, very good. And we're just talking about how God allowed evil into the world. We're always wondering, well, gosh, why did that happen? Why is there evil in the world? God could have created the world without evil, uh, but that sounds an awful lot like heaven to me. He didn't do that with our free will. And if you think about it, humans killed God in the form of Jesus Christ. So it's a striking to me uh, that he's willing to go through this and that, that there's evil in the world. So he takes up and asks us during Lent too to take up our cross daily and follow him. Uh, so it's an appropriate reading for all of us for the start of this Lenten journey. And I can tell you that everyone here at the parish is, is praying for you. And we're praying for St. Joseph uh, and the world as well to have a wonderful Lent, a prayerful Lent, and that hopefully we can grow in our faith through this journey. So, and as uh, someone used to say, it's, it's also Friday Eve. So I wanted to put out this helpful reminder for everybody uh, that Fridays during Lent, it's a time of abstinence. So uh, no meat, no meat on Fridays, I'm sorry. Uh, but there's also plenty of other good things to eat. So uh, blessings on your Lenten journey, and I'll see you at Mass.